Hey everyone, it's Fracture G, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Delta Hub Harpio G 2.0 Palm Glide. Um, so this is a product mainly intended. It's uh, advertised to be a um, thing to relieve carpal tunnel when you're playing games a lot, and the weak position you hold your mouse. But I find it a little useful for other things, as in it helps me as a bigger guy not drag my palm against my mouse pad, adding some friction sometimes. Um, so here it is right here. It's a very simple device. Um, it simply has a little magnet strap that when you put it right here on your palm, you pull it over and the magnet attaches right there. It's on your palm just like that. So this lets you, uh, depending on, you know, how you hold your mouse, it lets you have a different grip on your mouse. Typically, I would not be able to grip my mouse in this position. It'd be more like this. And you see how far out and you can see that my uh, palm would be dragging in this position. But this way, it's even with the mouse pads on the mouse pad, <laughs> the mouse's pads and lets it be even on the mouse pad. And so it's a little smoother for me to move around. Um, now, when it comes to, you know, relieving stress on my wrist, I haven't used it for that long. This is just an initial review. I've done some tests though. We'll talk about those later, but it feels good. It does take a little bit to get used to. I completely will uh, agree with that. It, it, it quite uh, literally takes some time to adjust, but overall I do like the product and it's boxing. If I will show you real fast is very cool. It comes in this little packaging right here. It, it's very nice. High quality materials, I would say. And uh, I will be honest, partial of that price probably comes from the fact that this is very nice packaging. Now, I got this off Amazon for $50. Um, and when you get it, you will pull it open to have it come out. It will come with a little carry on bag and the, the palm glide right there inside, right here. You get a nice little holographic sticker. I mean, who doesn't like stickers? Let's be honest. And right here, it says if, if my camera could focus. Ah, yes. Uh, let's see if it'll focus. Okay, it shows you that this is not to meant to sit on your wrist. It's meant to sit on your palm. And then that it takes about one to two weeks to get used to. Um, now I don't know if you could have read that, but that's exactly what it says. I'll probably have a different camera angle if it wasn't readable. So overall, the device itself device um the product itself in my opinion could be worth it for uh bigger guys like myself who have bigger palms that can't hold their mouse quite the same as other people and feel like they're dragging their palm on their mouse pad causing friction especially when you're playing shooters um but right now we're gonna cut to my test that i did with it now i played counter strike 2 i did a kills per minute map and i did it four times with the palm glide and four times without it and i averaged out the times so here's just some clips of that right now here we are in counter strike 2 we're going to talk about the independent variables first uh i am using a uh, razor death adder v3 pro wireless with the dongle up here it is running 4000 uh hertz refresh and um i'm using a sensitivity of i think believe it is 2.0 if not it is one point something where the heck is it 2.0 okay yes yeah, sensitivity 2.0 um and so that makes my uh edpi 800 because i'm using a 400 dpi on the mouse and besides that we're gonna start off here we're going to do just 50 kills per minute uh, or well, I'm sorry. We're gonna do up to. We're gonna try to get to 50 kills. Um, so we're gonna start here. I'm not gonna line up on the grate. I'm gonna line up on the first line right here on this map. Looking straight down, lining up as much as I can. All right. And we're gonna start with the test now. I should state. That we're starting the test without the wrist pad or the palm glide i mean so that is 
not what I'm using right now. So they will do this four times and I'll round up the number at the end. I'll just cut it to just show a little bit of it. All right. First one was 100 and uh, I'll add the average of the other three with it at the end. Now we have the palm glide on and we're going to uh, start the test with this. So our first one, we got 97. I'll add the average at the end. So in summary, I averaged exactly, exactly 93 kills per minute with and without the palm glide. And that is with just me having this for the first couple of days. I haven't given it the one to two weeks they claim that you need to adjust to it. But just using it right now, I'm averaging the same exact kills per minute. And I did the test four times with and without. That's pretty impressive in my uh, opinion to already be able to average as much as I already did without it, without feeling like I'm dragging my palm. So in the conclusion, what do I really think about this product? I think it's good. I think if you're a bigger guy like myself and you drag your palm a lot with your mouse, this could absolutely relieve that. And I think that if you are trying to take your uh, FPS skills a little more seriously, this might give you an edge. With dragging your palm, you'll be able to have more control of your mouse. So yeah, overall, the Delta Hub RPO G 2.0 is a good product and um, I would recommend it. Yeah, you should go for it. If you want to give it a try, always give it a try. Um, if you have Amazon, you can get it in return if you don't like it. Uh, there's a good chance you will like it based off of what I have seen. So yeah, that is my opinion of the device or well, product device. There's no electronics in here, no trickery, um, but yeah. So this has been Fractured G, have a good day.